Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Mission 3 Mars. Like, sub, share and click the bell icon. Don't forget my video. Mars is highly popular for intense dust storm, which sometimes grows up enough dust to be seen by telescopes on Earth. Every year, there are some moderately big dust storms that pop up on Mars, and they cover contents, seized areas, and lost farmings at a time, said Mitchell Smith, a planetary scientist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland. Beyond Mars, large annual storms are massive storms that occur more rarely but are much larger and more intense. Once every three Mars years, about 5.1.2 Earth years, on average, normal storms grow into planet uncircling dust storms, and we usually call those global dust storms. To distinguish them, Smith said, it is uh, unlikely that even those dust storms could strain an astronaut on Mars. However, even the wind in the largest dust storms likely could not tip or rip apart major mechanical equipment. The winds in the strongest mountain storms top out at about 16 miles per hour, less than half the speed of some hurricane force winds on Earth. Focusing on wind speed may be a little misleading. As well, the atmosphere on Mars is about 1% as dense as Earth's atmosphere. That means to fly a kite on Mars, the wind would need to blow much faster than on Earth to gauge the kite in the air. The key difference between Earth and Mars is that Mars' atmospheric pressure is a lot less, said Williams Farrell, a plasma physicist who studies atmospheric breakdown in Mars. Dust storms at Goddard, so things get blown but it's not with the, the some intensity. Thank you watching my video and please subscribe my channel.